Have you ever started a pack for a trip or maybe you've been out looking to buy a new suitcase for your trip and asked yourself, do I need a luggage tag? Or maybe your current suitcase came with one and you're wondering what information should even be on them. Well, in today's video, I'm going to provide some information for you to help you decide if having a luggage tag on your suitcase is worth it. And if you decide to have one, what information should and should not be on them. Let's go. Dream vacations start here. Have you ever found yourself waiting at baggage claim only to discover that your luggage did not arrive with you at your destination? One of the primary reasons why this happens is because it ends up being mishandled during a transfer between connecting flights. And the likelihood of mishandling increases the more the bag is transferred, making trips with multiple connections more vulnerable to luggage complications. In fact, over 28 million bags worldwide are mishandled annually, with about 5% of them being lost entirely. So would having a luggage tag on your bag make any difference? The answer is, it can. Generally, the tags printed out at the airport serve the same purpose. The barcode on the label contains who the suitcase belongs to, where it's supposed to be, and other important information. However, if that tag were to get torn off, which it does happen, the airlines can no longer identify who the suitcase belongs to or where it needs to go. For this reason, you may want to consider attaching your own luggage tag with all the necessary information to ensure your luggage gets to where it belongs. Something else that you'll want to do is remove any previous airline tags from your luggage. Having a collection of airline tags on your luggage from previous trips does not make you look cool or well-traveled. All it does is make it significantly harder for the baggage handlers to find the correct label, so the chances of your bag being mishandled rises significantly. That's why you should always remove all airline labels when you get to your destination. Now, I've had the misfortune of experiencing a bag that never made it with me to my destination, and it's not a good feeling. Since then, I've made sure that everything that is of value to me gets packed in either my carry-on or personal item bag so that it's with me at all times. So that if my check bag were to get lost, I'm not going to be too upset about it, and I would recommend you do the same. Now, there are going to be times where you're going to need to pack something of value in your check bag. This could be some souvenirs from a trip or a bottle of wine. Things that are either too big to fit in a carry-on bag or restricted by security rules. In either case, you're going to want to ensure those items make it to your destination. So if I were you, I'd make sure to have my own luggage tag on my suitcase to help my chances in the event the airline's luggage tag gets ripped off my bag. Some people also like to put more information on the inside of their bag. If both the airlines and your personal luggage tag gets ripped off the bag while in transit, having information inside your bag would work as a backup to the backup. If that appeals to you, then here's what information you should have on the note. You'll want to have your name, phone number, and email address. You'll also want to add your flight information and the contact details for the hotels you'll be staying at. Make sure you put the note in the zipper pocket in the main compartment so that someone can easily see it when they open your suitcase. If your suitcase happens to get lost, airport security will open your suitcase and look for anything that can identify the owner. For the luggage tag itself, all you'll need to put on it is your name, phone number, and an email address. Information that you will not want to put on your luggage tag is your home address. If you want to add an address, make sure it's the hotel address, or if you're returning home from a trip, add your work address. That way, there's no way someone can use the address to take advantage of the fact that you're on a trip and away from your home. So if you have decided that a luggage tag is something that you'd like to add for your next trip, what are your options? The cheapest option would be to use the airline's luggage tags. Most airlines offer their passengers free luggage tags at the check-in or ticket desk. They are pretty flimsy with it just being a piece of cardboard with a string attached to it. They'll work for a single flight, but I wouldn't trust them to stay on much longer than that. The other options you have are digital and non-digital luggage tags. Non-digital luggage tags can come in different types of material and colors such as leather, plastic, and metal. Metal luggage tags would be the most durable, and I have found no information from the TSA that it would be prohibited. And the people who have used them before have said they have never had any issues with them at airport security. Digital or smart luggage tags can help you track your suitcase. You can get the ones that just have a QR code that when scanned will give the person your information as well as notify you each time the bag is scanned as well as the bag's location. These are fairly inexpensive to get, but it does require some setup and the downside is you are relying on someone to scan the tag in order to find its location. Another option is to use a tile tracker or you might be more familiar with air tags that Apple makes. You can use them to place in your luggage and track your suitcase on your phone to see if your luggage does indeed follow you to your destination. If your luggage ends up getting lost along the way, these devices can help locate your bag by using nearby Tile or iPhone users' phones to help send location updates to you. This is all done anonymously, so none of your information is getting sent to other people. This option would be the most effective option you can use to track down your luggage or really anything that is of value to you. I will have a whole list of luggage tag options for you to check out, linked down in the description. Make sure you check out some of my other videos that I think will be helpful to you as well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in a future video.